for checking out this video on how to use a Honeywell ST9400C 7-day boiler programmer. This unit is a 7-day programmer, which means that you can set different programs for each day of the week. It has separate controls for central heating and hot water, so you would normally find this programmer being used where you have a hot water tank. It has three on-off periods per day. It's got a nice big screen which will help you through the process of programming it, which is good because it is quite a complicated unit. The display shows the time, the date and the day. And the, the programmer will set the, the time and the date itself. And it also shows the mode that the heating and hot water are in. Hot water being on the left, uh, heating controls on the right. Press the mode buttons, so the mode button here for the heating, here for the hot water, to change the different mode. So here we have auto, and auto will use the programs that you have put in programs into the unit. And select once, and it will turn the boiler on at the first on time that you've programmed, and off at the last time. So for example, 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, and then might go off at 11 o'clock at night if you've programmed three different periods that start at 6 and finish at 11 in the day. Continuous, that means that it'll be permanently on and of course you can turn it off. I'll mention the override and extra hour buttons later on. So pushing the flap up, we'll see the buttons uh, that you need to control the programs and also the slider switch. Now this slider switch has four positions. Day time lets you change the day or time but as I said you shouldn't need to do that because the unit itself will pick up the time and date uh, after a power cut or after it's been configured. Hot water, self-explanatory, that lets you change the programs for the hot water the times that the boiler will come on and off for hot water. Uh, same for heating, so you can have different times for the heating and hot water. And then run, that's the usual position for the slider to be in. It lets the programmer get on with its job of uh, controlling the boiler. So I'll show you how to program the hot water, uh, but it's exactly the same process for programming the heating. So move the switch to hot water and you'll see it says set hot water we've got set on time one now you see Monday flashing the time that is currently set to so 6.30 a.m. and also on one so as it says set on one time and on one there use these buttons the plus or minus with the clock in the middle to change this time so if you want to move that back to six o'clock it's now saying on time one, is that okay? And we press okay. And now we get to set the off time. So hot water, the time it's going to go off in the morning. And you can change the time by 10 minute intervals. So we'll change that one slightly. Save there. And now it moves on to on time two. So this is a really you've got a morning, a lunch time, an evening, afternoon, evening setting. Um, you can obviously have them whenever you want during the day. If you only want two settings on off, what you would do is in the middle, so if you only want, only want two periods where it's running, uh, you could in the middle setting have this coming on and off at exactly the same time and effectively then it won't come on. So if we leave that at 11.50, we don't want it to come on so we'll move that one down to 11.50 and it's also flashing now on and the off. You see the on's flashing and the off's there. That means that they're both the same time. That's what we want. So we'll press save. Press OK and that saves it. So on time three, four o'clock. OK, we'll move that forward a bit. Press OK and it saves it. And the off time, 9.30. OK, so tells us it's complete. We've programmed it for that day. And you now see the unit saying uh, set more days, or you will when it scrolls background. So set more days, you can use the day or copy day. So the program we've put in for Monday, you can either use that one 
uh, for each day in the week or any days you select in the week or you can program another time so what we'll do is we'll copy that day so we'll copy press the copy day button now it says copy Monday to Tuesday okay now if you want to copy to Tuesday press OK and we've got Monday copied to Tuesday so it's now given us the option in Tuesday of amending any of those times if we want to so don't want to change any of those complete set more days and you can go through this process for each day in the week so it's a bit time consuming maybe to start off with but it does give you that ability to have different times each day so we'll copy that across copy Tuesday to Wednesday OK copied Wednesday copy to Thursday OK OK if you wanted to copy it to Friday, Wednesday to Friday then just press next day um, so for example if we wanted to copy Thursday to Saturday press next day and you'll see it's moved it to Saturday press it so we'll copy it to Friday press OK uh, OK weekend don't want to get up so early on a Saturday so I press next day and it's moved on to Saturday now so I want the time so I'm coming on a bit later so I'll come on at 7 o'clock have it going off at 9 o'clock lunchtime we'll have it come on a bit later and off a bit later and then pressing OK again off we've got and we'll have it coming on a bit later as well these buttons do have a habit of getting stuck sort of inside the plastic a little bit so you sometimes have to be careful that you might need to push them to, to get them to come out a bit okay so that's so we'll then copy, so finish off, finish it off, copy that day across, copy Saturday to Sunday, okay, Saturday copied. So we've programmed all of the times for the hot water. Move it down to run, and it'll, it'll now um, run the hot water according to those programs. Heating, you, would, you just move it up for heating and go through that process again. holiday button this lets you tell the system that you're going away from the house for a few days so it won't turn the boiler on during that time so set holiday set the number of days away so if you've gone away for a weekend say three days press OK saves that returning and it'll tell you this tell you the date that you're returning just so you can check it and then on that date it'll start running the system again, running the boiler again. If you want to cancel that, click holiday, cancelled, back to working as normal. Now, a couple of buttons up here that I mentioned, extra hour and override. The extra hour button will turn the hot water or the heating on for an hour or longer if you press it more times. So, hot water, not on at the moment. If we suddenly decide need we need hot water, somebody did a bath, emptied the tank, press extra hour and it will come on for an hour. Press it again for two hours, again for three hours, again and it cancels that. If the heating and hot water are already on, what it'll do is extend the off time for those by an hour, two hours or three hours. The override button will override the program but only in the auto or once mode. So if the boiler is on, then it will go off until the next period. So I'll, I'll click it here, override until 6.30am tomorrow, which is Thursday. Um, here we've got it's on auto, it's off at the moment on the hot water, press override, turns the system on and it's going to be on until... 
As I said at the start, this is quite a complicated unit and it's got a lot of options on it that will help you run your boiler in a cost effective way. So I hope this short video has been of some use to you in helping to explain how to use the system, how to use this particular programmer uh, to get the most from it. Thanks.